Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my shop mustache. We're going to go through the products I chose last time, what I thought of them, and we'll be picking new products to use for the next few weeks. How was your week? Tomorrow's the Super Bowl. Actually, when you guys see this video, it's a Super Bowl. So I just realized that. Yeah, you guys will be seeing this on Super Bowl. So who are you going for? The Chiefs or the, the Eagles? Let me know down below. <laughs> But if you love Shop My Stash videos, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. All right, let's see. I have a few um, foundations. So the first one I picked was this L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. I have the shade 440. And it's actually a beautiful drugstore foundation. Definitely have will repurchase because it's really nice. Um, medium to full coverage again very beautiful foundation i also had the abh luminous foundation i have the shade 210 n very beautiful as well uh, more luminous than the fresh wear this one's more medium coverage and again this looks really beautiful and natural on the skin so i do enjoy that i that's project 10 <laughs> uh, maybelline lasting finish makeup setting spray this one's really nice and does set the skin it does have a fine mist which I actually really enjoy and it does kind of get all over the place. I don't know if you guys can tell on the spray bottle right there that it does kind of get everywhere. But overall, it's really nice and the mist is fine. Okay, so some mascara. I had three. I had the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions, which I didn't really reach because I used these two. The Tower 28, this one is the Make Waves Mascara in Jet, just the black. Um, it does have a plastic applicator, kind of looks like this, a little curved. I actually really enjoy it, and it does like lengthen and kind of volumize as well. And then I also had the L'Oreal Telescop Telescopic Lift, um, again in the blackest black, and a kind of similar wand, but not as curvy. And this one I do like as well. I think it's actually pretty nice. I do notice that I have a lot of flaking on my cheekbones and stuff on my on my face. When I use this mascara, so I'm not sure if it's older. I know it's newer mascara, so it just does flake on me. But overall, I do enjoy all of them. I am going to leave this one in another week and just pick one mascara to use. Because, again, I was reaching more for the other ones because they were newer to me. But this one has been in my collection for a while. I should be decluttering it because I have I have had this for over three months. So it's definitely time to get rid of But We're going to leave it right there just so it's kind of out of the way. For eyebrows, I had this Morphe Brow Pencil in Java, I believe. Yes, um, pretty nice, does the job. Um, and then I also have my uh, Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Grind. Um, pretty good combo, I enjoyed it. Okay, lips, I only used this one. I didn't use the SNARS one, so this one's gonna stay in here. Um, this one's the Makeup My by Mario Ultra Suede Lipstick in Brielle. Very beautiful, your lips but better. It's a really nice lipstick. <laughs> Don't mind these. I was going through my new makeup drawer and I was thinking these were dried out because I've had them for over a year, I'm sure, in the new makeup drawer. But they're still going strong. Um, the star one is from ColourPop and this moon one is from Ulta brand. Super cute. I believe ColourPop does have the moon one, so if you guys are interested. But I got these to put like on the side of my eyes during like Halloween time, but I never did that. But yeah, I have them. <laughs> I don't remember using this white, so I am going to leave it in another week. Jesus. Okay, what else I got in here? Oh, this dark purple lipstick, which I did not use either, so this will stay. Um, I did use my Laura Lee Gloss in Strawberry Sky. Very beautiful, juicy lips. The lip liner I used, Rosé All Day. Very nice, and your lips but better. Liquid liner. I do leave the AOA Studio, this purple one, on in here for everyday use because I like more of a purple liner for everyday use than black. But this one by Pat McGrath was nice and worked pretty well. It's very pigmented. So, yes. So, we're going to leave the mascara and this one's in the project pan. So, for eyeshadow, I used my Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. This is very beautiful. I did notice that I mostly had orange looks when I used this palette because all of these are like more warm, orangey looks. Today I mixed these two together. I mostly just use these shades. I actually use this one too, this one to deepen the outer corners. Overall, it is nice, but um, this was gifted to me, so I'm happy I have it in my collection. But overall, again, I did notice that I have a lot of orangey, bronzy looks when I use this palette. Um, I think I do prefer the My Dream Palette by Natasha Denona instead because I remember they had like a similar color story But again, it was gifted so I am gonna keep it in my collection for a little longer 
Um, this is a Busy Art Violet Int Intendu. Um, looks like this very beautiful purple toned palette. I love Busy Art um, shades. They're very pigmented and super nice. And then I also had my Hella Odin's Eye Angelica collab. Very beautiful. Are any of you guys picking up the new Odin's Eye collabs? I am. Um, I keep debating on picking all three, but for sure I know I want the uh, Flora one and also the C one, but... Betty Jean's palette, I'm kind of like on the fence. I know I used to be at one point like super into bright tone shades, but I was kind of underwhelmed with that palette. Like when she revealed it, I thought it was going to be something different. Especially the theme, I don't know. Let me know if you guys were thinking the same, but, and let me know if you're picking up any of the Odin's Eye collabs that does launch on Tuesday, uh, Valentine's Day, but this one I do love, so... Um, powders. I had my Givenchy Prisme Libre. I have the three violet rose, very beautiful powder. My skin looks smooth and just really nice. I love this powder, super, super nice. I'm glad I have it in my collection. And then this Fenty Beauty Powder Pro Filter in Butter, super nice and mattifying as well. Um, overall, I definitely enjoyed my uh, Givenchy one, but this one's a good one as well. I did use this one. This Tarte Sculpt Tape um, Contour. I have this shade Cool Bronze. Pretty good color for me. I did notice it's a little more like reddish toned than what I like. But overall, I do like the applicator. I like this sponge applicator. It's really easy to apply. This one I didn't use, to be honest. I just didn't feel like using this kind of applicator to apply it. And I remember it being really, really sheer. Um, yeah. I'm going to leave this one in, but this one's coming out. I really enjoyed this one. And then for um, concealer, this isn't a project pen, but I use both of these. This one's the Giorgio Armani um, Power Fabric in the number 5. This one's a little too dark for the under eyes, and this one's a little light. But I was mixing them both, and they worked pretty well together. I do think this is getting older in my collection because I noticed when I mixed both of these, or maybe it's because I'm mixing them, um, it kind of looked a little patchy on my under eyes because this one alone was fine. Um, this one's the One Size Light 2G. This one's definitely full coverage, but just a little lighter for my under eyes. That's why I was mixing both. Um, but I just, I have had this for a while. I think I got this during COVID, like 2021. So what, it's going to be two years now. So I definitely have to use this up soon. For uh, corrector, I use this Milani Conceal and Perfect in Rose. Very nice, actually. I really enjoyed this. I don't like how messy this part gets because um, once you kind of push it out I mean if you have product on there once you put it in and screw it up like it gets all over as you can see there so I don't like that but I do like the shade to correct my under eyes so yeah um also used my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer very nice and hydrating again very beautiful on the skin and then I also had this Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer again does grip the makeup on I did enjoy it I don't it does nothing for pores or anything like that but it does grip the foundation and this one does nothing for pores it's more mattifying so I am going to put this back in my primer drawer and probably pull this out during summer because in the summer I do have more oily skin um this I don't need mattifying skin right now I kind of want something that looks kind of hydrating and glowy a little bit not overly glowy but um not matte for sure um so I am going to put this back into my collection so that's it's from in there and then lastly for blush i had this benefit blush mini in the shade moon very beautiful color there and then i also had this one um, in the shade butterfly very beautiful and bright this will be nicer probably during summer both pretty pigmented and then i also had my uh Chantikai in grace it's which is the sea turtle beautiful everyday nude there and then for bronzer, I had my Nabla Skin Glazing in Dune. This color is kind of a little off for me right now. I don't, I didn't really like the color of this. Maybe in the summer once I have a little more color to my skin. And then uh, highlighter, I had this one by Lunar Beauty in Mars. Very beautiful on the skin. And it doesn't look this intense, like the shade on the skin, but it's super pretty. I should swatch it. And I really like Lunar Beauty. Can you see that? It just looks really beautiful on um, Lunar Beauty Formula. It's really good. Also had this Becca in Champagne Pop. Beautiful as well. And then Melt Cosmetics and Stargazer a Beauty again. And then I did not use my Tower 28 uh, Cream Magic Hour shade here. 
So we are going to leave this in another week. If it looks used, it's because a friend decluttered it from her collection. I have not used it on myself yet. So the products down here, there's another drawer, but those are all Project Pan items. So, so those are all the products and we are ready to go ahead and shop my stash. Okay, so we're gonna start in the new palette drawer. I haven't showed you guys in here in a while. <laughs> kind of packed in here let's see i kind of just put some makeup away and i looked at this and i was like oh this is really pretty my husband got this for me for christmas um this is the huda beauty wild chameleon palette i think it's fun and really pretty so i'm feeling this so i'm gonna take this palette here i kind of was feeling like this one too but i'm not really feeling like cool tones right now I don't know. This is beautiful, too. So, let's see. I think I'm going to use this, too. And I do want to pick a palette in my um, collection as well. I have a lot of palettes. I haven't bought anything this year yet. This is all makeup I bought, in, sorry, last year. And I'm going to finally buy something next week. Uh, for those Odin's Eye palettes. I think I'm going to go in here and kind of go through palettes and see if I really want them. Because a lot of the palettes honestly have been in, in here like six months. So I need to get rid of stuff if I'm not going to use it. It's just been chilling in there. I do want to use both of these Tom Ford blushes. I got these on Mercari. Um, that's what this one looks like. This one is in Sundrunk 05. And then this one is 02 explicit flush so i think they were just swatched and i got both of them for the price of one or a little bit less than the price of one so i was like hey cool i get to try tom ford so we're gonna take those two and then i want to take this one um by elf this is the old face satin lipsticks in the shade shameless i've heard really good things about this a lot of people were comparing these to the nars lipsticks and I heard they even had like magnetic closure, which is cool. They do? Wow. Okay, again, this is in the shade Shameless. Okay, not too bad. I know I have some colors in my... So cool. <laughs> it... mm, what's it called? I have a red lipstick from NARS and then the purple matte lipstick by Melt in my everyday drawer still. So I think that's going to be it from in here. I think I'm going to take this. Um, I have a few things that are new in here and then some that were declared to me by a friend. Um, and I had this in my collection and I dropped it and she did a declutter so she passed it on to me. Um, this is the uh, Kimchi Chic Taylor, Taylor <laughs> blush in the shade Vacation. And this is super pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. So I think I'm going to use this as well. And I think we'll be good with blush. I wonder if I should take this for liquid contour try it out and see if i like this one better than the tarte or what but i actually have the iconic london still so i'm not going to take this because i want to use that one oh, okay i'm going to take some primers from in here i'm going to take all these these were not this one uh, but these were declared to me by my friend rania again that decluttered that she also gave me this and other stuff that she decluttered to me um this is the clarins instant smooth perfecting touch uh, primer. I think it was for pores, so I'm going to take that, and I'm also going to take <laughs> that primer that I dropped. This is Sophia and Maybell. I woke up like the Skin Perfecting Primer, so we're going to take this as well. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and take this one too. This is a MAC Prep and Prime. Maybe I can finish these off since they're all minis um, by in a couple weeks, but I doubt it. <laughs> this is a MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance in yellow, I believe. Yep. So we're going to take those primers as well. So for setting spray, um, I'm going to take the MAC Fix Plus in matte. We'll take that. And then for foundation, hmm, let's see. I'm going to take a couple, I think. I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I'm in the shade number 5, Neutral. And then I'm, I'm going to take the Smashbox one, the Studio Skin. In the shade 2.16. And I think that's it. In the first drawer for mascara. 
I'm gonna take, I have the Thrive, and I'm also going to take the Urban Decay Perversion. Yeah, let's take that one. This one kind of feels empty, so hmm, we'll see. It feels really light. So yeah, we'll take this, and maybe the next time I'll just be ending, ending I will be decluttering it. What am I trying to say? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a Precise, or Give Me Brow, and then a Precisely My Brow in number six. And then for eyeshadow primer, I have the Kaleidos. I use that every single day, but I'm going to take, I think, the Thrive Cosmetics one as well. Get some use out of this. And then for concealer, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. I have the shade 360 Cashmere. I feel like I just used this not too long ago. No, I think it was a CoverGirl one, actually. So we're going to take the L'Oreal one, and I'm also going to take, this one's too light. I need to mix, like, these two. I think I'm going to take these two instead. I, I can't use this alone because I feel like it's not very brightening on the under eyes, and this one's too light. Maybe it'll be fine. So I'm going to take these three, actually. So I'm going to take L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, Lancome Tinted Doll, and Tarte Shape Tape. Um, this one is Light Sand. This one's 215. My perfect shade for Tarte is probably, I think it was light honey or neutral honey, something like that. I don't remember. And then I'm also going to take a corrector, which I'm going to take the Maybelline corrector in neutralizer. Primer, we have the minis. Powder. Did I say powder up here? This is primer. This is powder. I'm going to take this one. This was on my desk for the longest time, and I cleaned my desk and found it on my desk. So I'm going to take this. This is an e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder in light pink. So we're going to take this. I think I used it for the whole skin. I don't remember just using it for the under eye. I think it was, maybe it was just the under eyes. Yeah, I think it was under eyes. So I'm going to take this for the under eyes, I guess. And then we need another one for the whole skin. Let's actually take this. I went to Walmart today and there was an older lady that I was in the makeup section at Walmart and she's like, hey, like, I know you don't work here, but I wanted to see if you can help me find things like um, for my skin. Like, I can see that you know how to do makeup, like, because I had my makeup done. She's like, if you can help me. So she had a little bit of darkness on the under eyes. So I recommended a concealer and then a powder from Maybelline. Um, she actually went with the pressed version, which I actually still like as well, instead of going with the loose version. So I'm going to take this in honor of her for asking me um, for tips on what to use. Um, so she picked up the pressed version of this. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fairlight. I got number 10. This is beautiful smoothing powder for the drugstore. Really nice. I actually really like the pressed version as well. I think it's probably similar. Um, it's just, again, a pressed version. And then what else did she grab? She asked me for a blush, which I recommended Milani. Oh, those baked blushes. She picked up one of those. The concealer, she grabbed the e.l.f. one. And then the camo concealer. And then I think she also grabbed something else. I don't remember what it was, but yeah. Something from CoverGirl? I don't remember what it was. Yeah, oh, it was Milani. Some eyeshadow. She asked me for an eyeshadow recommendation. And from the drugstore... I don't really know because I don't really buy from Walmart eyeshadow palettes. Um, she picked up one from Milani, like a Purr or CoverGirl. I don't remember. Something like that. But, yeah. <laughs> but it was nice to help somebody out. Um, let's see. Bronzer. I'm actually going to take this one. Maybelline City Bronzer. I have the shade 200. So, we'll take that. And I also have the bronzer that's in my project pan. And then this is blush, which I don't need blush. Highlight. It's looking a little sad in here. Um, let's take Tarte Exposed. It's been a while since I've used this. Right there. And let's also take the Bobbi Brown Highlight in Pink Glow. This is beautiful as well. Right there as well. I just realized that that e.l.f. concealer oxidizes. <gasps> She's gonna think I <laughs> set her up. Dang it, I forgot that the e.l.f. concealer oxidizes because we got something close to her skin tone, so it might be too dark. 
<laughs> Shoot, that is going to darken. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Mm, lip liners, eyeliners. I'm going to take this one. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm feeling this here. This is a lip liner. I can use it on, on the lips, but I do use it on my waterline. This is in the shade Figgy. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> so we're going to take that. And then... Uh, I think that's it. These are my water activating liners from Suva Beauty. Do I want a black liner? Maybe. Let's pick... Yeah, let's just go with Chella, the original pick. So this is Duo. This is a black and then a blue on this side. The last thing I'm going to take is this palette by Kaleidos. Um, this is a Sashimi City, but I actually decluttered a couple other palettes and I kept a couple shades of the, I think it was bronze something. <laughs> and I kept that, this color and this color from bronze, whatever it was called, because they had two colors like this in here and I don't remember what else. I was looking through my Kaleidos palettes the other day and I was like, wow, this is really pretty. So we're going to take this as well. Those are all the items for this week's Shop My Stash. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.